Trepekul! I need to reconcile these ancient Greek maps with data from Admiral Columbus. But this is like comparing maps of the moon and the earth. What a mess! Ah, Ezio. Cheer me up. Let me teach you something. What about these poison bombs? How lethal are they? Quite lethal, Dosto. We distill our poison from the Datura plant. A pretty little flower with a deadly secret. This one kills, slowly but surely. Be very careful, for your sake, and for others. Grazie. Why the hood? What is he hiding? I used my first bomb when I was in my late teens. I was sailing the Mediterranean under an unrecognized flag. Calling myself a privateer. The Francesi would say Corsair. No, they would say... Maho Eretic. <laughs> I do miss the days of rough ocean travel. The sea spray and the rolling waves. One day soon I will take to the sea again. But until then, I am here for my assassins. Here is your bomb. Use it with great care. Ah, Turkish smoke bombs. Are you curious to try a few? Should I? I've used smoke bombs before, with varying results. But not like ours. We have a special recipe for deep, dark clouds. Throw one of these and your eyes are useless. You must rely on your hearing and any other senses you may have cultivated. Other senses? What could that mean? <laughs> Word gets around, Ezio, that you are a special sort of man, with strange gifts. Keep it to yourself.
I'm amazed. You haven't killed anyone yet, and we are three hours into the ship. <laughs> Stop that man! Try this, Ezio. A caltrop bomb. A non-lethal method of stopping pursuers. I like the sound of that. When I first sailed with my uncle Kaman more than two decades ago, we had quite a lot of fun with these in many rowdy ports. In Rodos, for instance, it was so easy to lure the hospitalers from their palace posts right into a patch of caltrops. <laughs> and to see them dancing in the street in a full suit of armor, nothing is more undignified. Try it, you'll see. With the pirates renewed in. I even Come, have friends! The here the customer is Ten months I have been working on a new map for Beazid, but he is old, and I am a perfectionist. <sighs> Perhaps the next Sultan would appreciate my efforts. Well, how can I help you, Ezio? Smoke signal bombs. How do they work? You must know the old saying. Where there is smoke, there is fire. These bombs play off that idea creating a thick plume of smoke to trick city guard into believing a fire has started. These bombs are quiet, however, so only those who see the smoke will be lured away. Sato, I will give it a try. Thank you. 
Did you know that the early Christians used to place east at the top of their maps? They assumed that heaven lay in that direction, beyond Cathay, because that is where the sun appeared every morning. What convenient simplicity, no? With heaven and earth, glass spheres in the sky, and the earth at the center of the universe. Ha! What a load of horse piss. Ah, but you are not here to philosophize. What are you looking at? I need a simple but effective means of distraction. Then this is the bomb for you. It gives a nice loud burst, luring all soldiers within earshot right to the source. Have fun. Tell me about your special bomb casings. Well, I have some sticky resin bags. My uncle Kamal had a wild fondness for them. During Bezid's conflict with Venezia, he was a captain in the Ottoman Navy. He liked resin bombs because they stuck to almost any surface. The hulls of large ships, for instance. I lost many friends in that conflict. We all did, Ezio. And that war is why I became an assassin. I hate the artificial boundaries our leaders have built between people. We fight to end the fighting. It is a sad irony. It will always be an irony, Evette. But perhaps one day it will not be so sad. Use this wisely.
This one has a strange look. What do you call it? A tripwire bomb. One of the more subtle methods we have of removing your opponent's feet. You see these filaments on the side? This bomb will not detonate unless one of these many wires is disturbed. Very useful in narrow alleys. Or under the seat cushion of someone's horse carriage. Oh, ho! It's your auditory. You are one devious high fan. I should keep my distance, lest you corrupt my delicate sensibilities. Oh, I think you will leave. Of course! <laughs> Don't blow your hands off, huh? <laughs> <laughs>